Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Deal Localization or No Deal Localization where our contestants have to apply the concept of delocalization of electrons to the challenges in order to win the grand prize of a lifetime supply of GTF sunscreen. All right, let's meet our contestants. On the left, we have the red team. And on the right, here's the blue team. Now, for tonight's first challenge, make a human representation of benzene using potatoes as your electrons and your bodies as the carbon. Go! Alright red team, show us your benzene. Sorry red team, you're incorrect. You've forgotten that electrons in benzene are not confined to a bond between two carbons. All right, blue team, now's your chance. Show us your benzene. You are correct. This human representation demonstrated the delocalized electrons in benzene that are shared between all of the carbon atoms. Blue team, you have won this challenge. Now, we will be back after a word from our sponsor. GTF sunscreen is professionally made to keep your satisfaction. It's the best one out there because of the compound Give Tan F. This compound has long conjugated double bonds for maximum electron delocalization. This increases the stability of phenolic antioxidants, which allows UV absorbers to act quickly and effectively so you can get the amazing tan you want while keeping your skin healthy. You don't want your sunscreen to turn you into a tomato. This is what happens with other competitive products such as PABA and Padme O that only have shorter conjugated double bonds. If you want maximum UV absorption, buy GTF sunscreen today. And we're back with the blue team in the lead. Each team must now choose one person to represent their team for the next challenge. Now, pick out the object that has delocalized electrons. In order to win, the object must be a good conductor of heat and electricity, and it must also have high ductility. Let's see who has chosen the correct object. First, try to bend your objects. <laughs> Looks like Red Team forgot that wood has no delocalized electrons. Good job, Blue Team. You remember that the delocalized electrons in metal move with atoms as force is applied so it has high ductility. Now, both of you, place the tip of your objects on top of this stove here. Now we wait. Very good! Blue team has now met the requirement of both ductility and thermal conductivity. Now, for the final test to see if your objects are good conductors of electricity. Congratulations, blue team! You've won! Metal does, in fact, have delocalized electrons, allowing it to have good thermal and electrical conductivity and high malleability. With the greater mobility of delocalized electrons, electricity and heat are able to be transferred across a metal compound. Alright, that's all for tonight's episode of delocalization or no delocalization. Have a great night, everyone!